Epic Streams is a non-profit video advertisement source that hosts many variety of medias on its website, including radio, in-house shows, and composed music. Link in the description below. Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Popular Video Games here, chilling out, maxing out, doing my thing. Alright guys, now today's video, we're going to be talking about Vegeta, Super Saiyan Silver. Let's get into this. Now, let's be real here. When Goku came out Super Saiyan Blue, so did Vegeta. Now, based off of that similar... Um, occurrence that should be appearing in Dragon Ball Super. We can estimate that Vegeta and Goku, when Goku transforms, Vegeta will reach around the same transformation. Now, I say that because Vegeta has been training with Whis and Beerus far longer than Goku has. Goku actually was getting rusty while Vegeta was still training hard. So, the fact that Goku will be able to reach a form that Vegeta was, is not able to reach is blasphemous. Now, I say that because, let's be real here, the whole Kaioken thing was always Goku's and Goku's alone, so we can't count that. Now, it was stated in the manga that Goku was stronger than Vegeta when he fought Zamatu and such, which I think is really fucking blasphemous because Vegeta actually put a worse hurting on Zamatsu and Black. Well, actually, Black more than anything. He put a major hurting on Goku Black compared to what Goku did. Maybe he said that just because of the whole Kaioken thing he did. But let's be honest, that Kaioken, that's just a boost. That's not his strength. Same thing with Super Saiyan Blue. Now, Super Saiyan Blue is a boost, don't get me wrong. But Kaioken, Super Saiyan Blue is a boost that it doesn't degrade your body and hurt you. Goku's Kaioken, he has to sacrifice to get to that power. Back to what I was saying, it would be very much unrelatable if Vegeta did not reach the same transformation as Goku. It was times in Dragon Ball where Vegeta was actually stronger than Goku. In the fucking Dragon Ball movie, when Beerus first came in there, guess what? He was stronger than Goku when he went in Super Saiyan 2. He was able to surpass Goku Super Saiyan God and go to Super Saiyan Blue. Come on now, they've been giving Vegeta a short stick and I am tired of it. Vegeta is one of the most powerful people on what well, in the universe and you cannot explain to me why for one, he's not really getting a lot of screen time and I don't like that. Seriously, that whole thing where Goku came over there and he saved Hit, it was cool, don't get me wrong, I love that episode. Literally it was one of the best episodes of Dragon Ball Super. But my thing is, why didn't they say anything about Vegeta? Now, it could be Vegeta was smart and sat back and said, they eliminated him, I can just go in and take it. I can just go in and, you know, take the other guys out. He probably played it smart, but back to what I was saying, it would be really impossible for Goku to reach a transformation that Vegeta would not be able to reach because Vegeta right now is stronger than Goku. Yes, he is. Oh, hell yes, he is. But one, after he got out the hyperbolic time chamber, he went over there and demolished fucking Goku Black. And now people are saying that Goku is still stronger than him? No, no, impossible. It's literally impossible. Literally impossible. It really is. I don't see why everybody keeps saying that Goku is stronger than Vegeta. Clearly after the hyperbolic time chamber, clearly after that he was going training with Whis and Beerus the entire time. Hell, when fucking Hit came to kill Goku, who arrived? Beerus, Whis, Champa, Bottles. And who was with Beerus and Champa? I mean, not Champa. Who was with Beerus and Whis? Oh, yeah, Vegeta. Hmm, hmm. Exactly. That shows right there. Vegeta has to begin this transformation as well. It would be blasphemous for him not to. All right, y'all. Thanks again for watching. This is being home by Popular Video Games here. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Peace out and talk to y'all later.